everyone, welcome back. I'm Brian, thanks for tuning in. Today I am going to be doing a paint grenade, but I'm also going to be doing it with the Amsterdam Pearl Colors and an Amsterdam um, uh, regular paint color. So uh, I don't know how this one's gonna come out because I'm not sure how mixing these Pearl Colors are going to actually dry on the canvas. And I'm using one of the Pearl Colors I haven't used before. So let's get down on the canvas and let's get started. Be right back. Okay, so today we are playing with a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I'm repurposing it because I had tried something and it didn't work out. So we're gonna reuse it, I scraped it. I am playing with my Amsterdam Pearl colors again. So today we're using Amsterdam Pearl Red, Pearl Green, and Pearl Yellow. I'm also using Amsterdam in the greenish blue. Uh, these are 16 ounce cups. I've got two ounces of Liquitex Gloss Medium. I've got about four ounces of paint and then about six ounces of Floetrol. I want my paints fairly thick for this technique that we're gonna do today. Today I'm going to do a flip cup with these colors. We're gonna see how well this comes out. I haven't tried this yet, so uh, let's get to layering our cup. So I've decided to grenade it instead of a standard flip cup. All right, so I think what I want to do is start off um, with the red. So we're gonna pour a little bit of red in here, the pearl red. And then we're just gonna alternate with the greenish blue. Go with the pearl green. Greenish blue. And the yellow. Greenish blue. And we'll just keep going back and forth. I'm gonna pour a puddle of the greenish blue right here in the center. Paint is going to start to ooze out. We should get some cells out of this, which I do see them coming up. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lip it. Here. 
This is gonna be a very interesting piece to see this when it dries. Because as we know, when it dries, these colors change. All right, let's add a little flow extender around this. Give this a little torch. All right, let's start moving this around. Loving the composition to this. I'm loving all the cells that are popping up. We are gonna get some really great colors out of this when it's dry because with these pearls, as you know, pearl red, green, yellow, blue, that they are going to dry. So all this white that you're seeing is going to actually be a different color. Um, this up just a little bit this way. All right. I'm now I'm gonna touch up my edges, give this a torch, and then I'll bring you guys in. Got lots of air bubbles because I mixed up this paint a little while ago. here we go another successful grenade pour I can't wait for this to dry those spots where you see white right now they're gonna be different colors so I think this is it's gonna dry dark for sure just like the last piece did because I used a darker color between the um, the uh, pearl colors but that's okay that's exactly what I'm going for here with this I want to keep playing with these pearl colors they're a lot of fun so let me bring you in
All right, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, here's the dried result. I absolutely love this. Check this out. Got a lot of great cells. I got a great colored lines through with this, how they all kind of blend. I'll show you when I bring you in. Um, the only thing that I'm not sure about using going forward will be that pearl yellow and the pearl green together. They kind of create that goldish look, which isn't bad, but I was kind of looking for something a little more yellow and I didn't get that. So lesson learned, but um, overall love the piece. I love the cells. I love the blending of the colors. Let me bring you in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how the lines just whisk through? You get to see all of the colors there. Really great. And really, is there another, is there a better color to use other than the greenish blue? Just really comes out great in a painting. I love it. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. This is the piece, it dried great. I love the composition. I'm loving the lines of color that came through all this. Just great. I will say I'm not a huge fan of the Amsterdam pearl yellow. Um, I'm thinking what happened because you can see a little bit of shading in this. I still love it, but it's giving almost the way the green and yellow may have mixed. So it's given a little bit of a gold. So overall, love the piece. Um, not a big fan of the Amsterdam pearl yellow though. I will play with a pearl yellow in another pour, but for this one, I'm okay with it, but I just don't think mixing it with the other pearl colors is going to give me the effect that I was kind of looking for. I was hoping to get a really nice yellow effect, which I got, but it's more on the gold side. So I think that's what happens when you mix it up with the green. So lesson learned, but that's all right. Turned out great. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. For those of you who uh, finished up at FAE in Texas this weekend, I hope you had a great time. It looks like you had a lot of fun. You got a lot of prizes that were given away. I've been to the, I went to the first one. It was a lot of fun, so I know you guys had a great time. All right, everyone, I'll see you in uh, Wednesday's video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.